Hey everybody, this month is five years of lifting, so first, celebrate. <laughs> now I wanted to go through some of the journey, so before I got into adulthood, my new job, gaining a bunch of weight, I was a 130 pound kid in high school. And I was a 130 pound adult during my first several years of marriage. And this is where I messed up my back and what I, what I looked like. I am the one in orange and you can see very lean, very low body fat. I almost wasn't allowed to wrestle because of how low my body fat was. So I know what it's like to have a six pack. And this here is me right before I started working at the credit union and my current job. And then something happened, stress from the job, ulcers, I shot up 100 pounds two years later. So the first year, weighing 229, we started out doing the bro workout. That's what everybody does, right? You bench, you bicep curl, and you maybe do some tricep extensions. No squats, no deadlifts, anything like that. So we actually did just that for three or four months, and then I decided that I really wanted to try and squat and deadlift based on advice my chiropractor gave me uh, due to the back pain she told me that I was never going to get better unless I started lifting lifting uh, frequently and doing those types of movements that's when I discovered that I had a bad knee left knee and lost two and a half months in rehab for my knee that was definitely a blow but that was 2010 to early 2011. Then mid 2011 is when I started browsing YouTube and discovered uh, Strength Camp, uh, Elliot Hulse's channel, and saw him practicing to be strongman. He was going through a strongman competition. I'm watching all these shows of, of what he's doing and what he's preparing. And I was like, man, I'm going to do that. That looks awesome. So I talked with Glenn, who started this journey with me. Do you want to do Strongman? And he was like, absolutely, let's do that. So I got into contact with a couple of people up here in Michigan that do Strongman, Fenton Strongman Club. Great group of guys, awesome people. And they put on some great events. And these guys are way stronger than I will probably ever be. And we decided that this is what we were going to do. I went out there, trained with them a couple times, wasn't strong enough. 2012, we got our hands on a homemade yoke that my father-in-law helped me build. He did most of it. Farmers. And we got our hands on a keg. And that started our first really true training for strongman, really designed programming we actually started paying attention to what we were doing, not just going in and maxing every time. So 2012 was really where my journey started. And here is, a, there's a link down below to kind of my 2012 year recap, which is the first year that I really started recording things. And you can see I was still right around 229 during that period. So I maintained the weight pretty well. And here's just a snapshot of me. So I'm starting to get a little bit more definition in the traps and the shoulders. But you can see still putting on some weight, still pretty big and thick. Now, we had already had the setback from the knee. At the end of 2012, I had a huge blow. I broke both my tibias. And uh, luckily they were just stress fractures. So I went in, had x-rays and all that. They gave me air casts, which are interesting and I have no idea how they actually work. And had to do that for about three months. So the first three months in 2013, which I started a new job and I couldn't really walk or do any lower body exercise, couldn't even standing overhead press. I went from 229, which I had maintained since uh, 2010, to 275 pounds. And I'm ashamed to say that's what I weigh today. Uh, now, basically two and a half years later. I am still right around 275, so I didn't lose any of that weight. But 2013 was the year we did our first strongman show. Glenn and I, I'll also link that down below. But despite the fact that we looked at the show and we're like, man, we're going to zero all these events. This is way too heavy. 
we said, you know, this is how we're celebrating three years of us lifting. We are doing the strongman competition. We trained all last year for this. We've been training all summer for this. Let, let's go and let's do this competition. And it was awesome. It was some of the best fun I've had. Unfortunately, right before the strongman competition, I did buy a new house. And you can see where we came from lifting. We had this little house. Uh, I was in this little bedroom and we had a deadlift and, and log press in the dining room half the time and have this huge pull bar now. But I had to end up doing a roof. And in the process of roofing, I tore all the ligaments in my right ankle right before the strongman competition. I did the strongman competition with it. And then I kept training, kept doing things, tried starting running. I really wanted to start dropping weight. And running with the ligament damage in my ankle caused an SI joint. Man, this fly. Do you see this fly? It's just, mmm. Anyways, so uh, I messed up my SI joint. And that was in early 2014 that I got that diagnosed. Took three months off. Saw that they were having the next Strongman show. And I really wanted to do it. The weights were so much lighter I was like man Glenn you and I could just go in and dominate this so we came back I started training really hard I thought I was going to make it I was deadlifting good and everything SI joint wasn't fully healed and I re-injured the SI joint so look no more or strongman competition I did go volunteer I helped out and uh, here's a couple shots of that And you'll notice Glenn is helping out too. That's because he was doing some dork fighting with foam swords, which we do from time to time. And he rolled his ankle really bad and messed it up. So he wasn't able to do the strongman competition either. But 2014 was basically a lost year. Now you put the two other injuries together. Really, you can almost subtract two years off my total time lifting and, I'm between, and rehabbing back up. I really only have a good solid two and a half to three years of lifting good because I didn't know what I was doing in the beginning, then I kept injuring myself. Now I am happy to say that 2015, injury free minus a, a slight tendon injury which had nothing to do with lifting whatsoever, uh, went walking for about five hours in sandals. Not a good idea, especially when you weigh as much as me. You need to do it in specialized shoes. But I did the strongman competition. So that was my second strongman show. Although I did not do as well as I had hoped, it was still a lot of fun, and I'm glad I did it. So we are well on our journey, and I just kind of wanted to put this stuff together to show, you know, where were we, where we're at now. And again, Thank you for all the people that are supporting me. You know, I do want to eventually compete in the open and, you know, maybe win a competition. That would be nice, right? Or at least at least win my division. That would be kind of cool. But we are looking forward to next year. You know, Glenn's injured right now, so it's his turn to, to miss some things, which is unfortunate. But now that we've come so far we've learned programming and we have goals so i'm gonna try and do the april uh powerlifting competition maybe the strongman competition at the abrrx or abbrx whatever that is on midland which isn't too too far from me and going to still try and do the frank and muth show i want to get down in the weight that is going to be one of the big struggles but I'm going to be posting a video here shortly on some really good news that I really hope will help with that. All right, that's it. Take it easy. I have no idea what I'm doing. Sorry. Crap. Whoops.